Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to discuss beat making in Soundtrap and there are several different ways that we can make beats in Soundtrap. One of them is called sequencing, one of them is called step entry, and one of them is called real-time entry. Today we're going to focus in this video on sequencing. So here is Soundtrap. And inside Soundtrap, we're going to focus on making a beat. So we're going to add a track and we are going to pick drums or beat. Now this screen automatically pops up. This is the patterns screen within the drums. We're going to focus on this screen right now because it is a sequencer. So inside this sequencer, you'll see a one and then a hard line here and a two. And then if we keep scrolling over, a three and a four and a five and a six, those are denoting measure breaks. So everything here happens in measure one. Everything here happens in measure two. For this project, right now, I'm gonna focus on just measure one. So I'm gonna take my cycle tool, grab the end, shrink it down, and then just focus on this one measure right here. Now, what do we see in this actual screen right here. Well, in this screen, we have 16 total boxes. And in the typical Soundtrap project and in most pop music, a single measure is broken down into four beats. So if we divide 16 by four, and you can see how they've done that with these wide gaps, we would have four beats. So everything happening inside these boxes happens during beat one. Everything happening in these boxes happened during beat two. Everything in here happens during beat three. And everything here happens in beat four. Now I've got my metronome turned on so that I'll be able to hear the click. And it's set to 120 beats a minute. And that sounds like this. So if I wanted to create a kick drum sound that happened on every metronome hit, I would use the beginning of beat one, the beginning of beat two, the beginning of beat three, and the beginning of beat four. If we thought about these boxes numbered one through 16, this would be box one, five, nine, and 13. And that would sound like this. Now a very popular choice for a rhythm that's made like this is to have the snare drum hit on beat two and four. So right now we have a four on the floor kick drum pattern. And if we wanna add a snare drum, we would add a snare drum on box five and box 13. This is called a back beat. Let's start back at the beginning. Now, if we wanted to make club music, we could add a closed hi-hat in the middle of each beat. So that halfway in between each beat is box three, and then box seven, box 11, and box 15. Now we'll have a strong club beat. If you wanted to make a rock band beat, you could take away the kick on beat two and four and add in some more hi-hats along the way. Now you have a typical rock band beat. So that would be the boots and pants rhythm that I think we're all familiar with. So you can certainly add in more uh, kick drums you can add in more hi-hats. Let's see, let's make up something fun. Okay, so this would be a little groovier rhythm. So this would be sequencing. Everything within the beat has been laid out and it, the progression of the playhead across the beat means that at the beginning of each box, it's gonna make the sound that you've selected. If you'd like to add more sounds, you click the Add button here to access more 
different and diverse sounds. You can also drop, do the drop down menu to be able to select um, different tones that you would like. Maybe you want a series of toms instead of uh, different symbols. The call is certainly yours. Um, that's there for you to experiment with and be creative with. When you're happy, you can grab the upper right hand corner and loop this out and have lots of repetitions of that same phrase. Or you can expand and make a second measure and now you can write in the second measure so you could begin to make a uh, two measure loop of what's going to happen. So now we have a two measure loop. And you could continue on down here until you have a loop that is made the way you want it. Finally, if you want to combine these, you can draw a box around the two using a left click and drag, right click and merge them. And now you have one solid region to work with so that you can move things around easier and copy and paste it. I hope that you've found this helpful. Uh, thank you for joining us at Roaring Records.